governance and compliance might not be the most exciting topic, but it's one that we need to know about because it's probably the one that could get us into the most trouble if we do it wrong. So let's understand what's going on here. What is governance and compliance services? Governance services are basically policies and resource management. So this is where we need to look at what policies do we need to be following by kind of law for the data that we are storing. Same with resource management. How do we go about storing all of our resources? It really depends on where you are in the world, right? As to what the laws are for storing and managing all of this data. Compliance, on the other hand, is about having regulatory compliance. It's about having data protection. It's about making sure that we have good auditing practices, that we have best security practices, and that we have good incident response. So together, these are making sure that we're not just aware of these rules, but we're actually following them properly and we're keeping within what we need to do to be a successful law-abiding company citizen tech user. If you're wondering what the difference between governance and compliance is, governance is making sure that we have the structure for actually following all of these rules and that everything is set up on a high level. And then compliance is actually following those rules. Are we taking the actions that we need to take? Is everyone in the company doing what they need to do to actually comply by these different rules and what's being set up in this governance level? So let's take a look at the different services in AWS that can help us with our governance and compliance. The first of which is CloudWatch. CloudWatch, it's for watching. It's like a monitoring service for what's going on in our AWS services. Then we have CloudTrail. CloudTrail is like your little detective. It's going to track all of the changes that have been made within AWS and who made them and at what time and where were they so that you can go back and follow the trail or the set of footprints that led you to where you are. Audit Manager is next, which does pretty much exactly what it sounds like. It helps to manage a large audit of your AWS, and it actually automates a lot of this for you, which is fantastic, because it can do it with your own compliance standards and your own industry standards as well. AWS Config is up next, and it's similar to CloudTrail in that its main job is to track all of the changes that are happening across all the different services that you have in AWS. But Config is helping us to understand the relationships between all the different things we have going on in AWS and how they meet or don't meet any of the compliance that we need to follow. Artifact is like a giant library of all of our compliance documents. So if you ever have any questions about compliance or what relates to you and what doesn't, then you can find it in AWS Artifact. There's some really neat features with an artifact such as sample agreements and sample reports, which you can then use for your own AWS org and own documentation. Next up, we have AWS Compliance, which is some more resources and tools, but this one really on compliance standards, which is really useful. So it's going to help you to meet specific compliance standards that you have and any industry requirements. For example, it's got great docs on storing user data and when and where and how and why not you should be thinking about that. And same with industry-specific regulations. So well worth checking out to see what's actually relevant to you. Next up, we have Trusted Advisor. Trusted Advisor is going to give you some top tips about how you can optimize everything that's going on in AWS. Its main job is to help you reduce costs, to improve your security, to make things more efficient. It's really handy and it's free and it's there, so why wouldn't you check it out and see what it has to say? Thank you so much. Happy learning. We'll see you next time.